Let's continue in section 3.3, solving systems of inequalities. Here we're given a system, but now we have one that includes an absolute value. Let's start with the absolute value. So we have y is less than or equal to the absolute value of x minus 4. Also recall that our general form is y is equal to the absolute value of m x plus b plus c. And we also know what the vertex is. It is a negative b over m comma c. So let's generate that vertex and a table. Here we have a negative b, which is a negative 4, so that's a positive 4, over m, which is 1, comma c, which here we have nothing, so it would be 0. Let's create a table after we graph that point. So my point is 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 0. Let's create a table by selecting ordered pairs in the left and right. Let's choose 2 on the left of 4, so I'm going to go 2 and 3, and 2 to the right of 4, which would be 5 and 6. When I substitute in a 2, I'm going to get 2 minus 4, which is the absolute value of a negative 2, which is 2. 3, 3 minus 4, which is 1. Absolute value of a negative 1 is 1. 5 would give me the absolute value of 1 is 1. And 6 would give me the absolute value of 2, which is 2. Let's graph that table. So we have 2, 2, 3, 1, 5, 1, and 6, 2. But we know that the left and right of the vertex are going to correspond. Let's graph that table. And I'm going to put that as a solid line because I know that my inequality is a less than or equal to. Now I have to decide where to shade. Do I shade values of y inside my absolute value, which would be greater values, or do I shade values less than outside? I could choose a point on the inside or outside, but I know from this inequality I need the values that are less than this expression because of the inequality is less than. So let's shade below that absolute value. So these values represent all solutions to that absolute value inequality. Now let's graph our other inequality. Y is less than 4. When that happens, we know we just create a table, X and Y. The y values are 4. I just choose my x values, 0, 1, and 2. But I should know anything just crossing the y axis is going to be a horizontal line. So this is going to be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 4, 2, 4. And this is going to be a dashed line because of the inequality. Then I determine where the shade. I need to have values of y less than 4. So I'm going to shade below that line. Now I need the intersection of those shadings, and that would be in this area. So all values in the solid green area represent solutions to this system of inequalities. Let's continue to the next example. Again, I know that my general form of my absolute value is y equals the absolute value of m x plus b plus c. My vertex I know is a negative b over m comma c. Substituting, I can get my vertex, a negative b, which here is a positive 5, that makes it negative, over 
m, which is 1, so that's just a negative 5, comma, c, which here is a negative 2. So let's graph that. I have a negative 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, down, 1, 2. Let's create a table of values 2 to the left and 2 to the right of that vertex, x, y. So I have a negative 5, so I'm going to go 2 to the left, which would be a negative 6, negative 7, and 2 to the right, which would be a negative 4, negative 3. When I substitute, I'm going to get a negative 6 plus 5 is a negative 1. The absolute value is 1 minus 2 is a negative 1. And negative 7 is going to give me a positive 2 minus 2, which is 0. Negative 4 is going to give me 1 minus 2, which is a negative 1. And negative 3 is going to give me 2 minus 2, which is 0. So I graph those ordered pairs. And that's going to be a negative 6, negative 1, 7, 0. Negative 4, negative 1, and 3, 0. And I know for my inequality, it's going to be a solid line. Now I need to determine where to shade. I have y values less than that expression, so I'll, I'll shade below the line. Let's continue by looking at the other inequality. I have y is greater than or equal to x. That's already in slope-intercept form. My m is 1 over 1, therefore it's positive and will increase from left to right, and my intercept is 0, comma, 0. Let's graph. I have 0, up 1 to the right 1, up 1 to the right 1, and then what I'm going to do is continue adding points to see where this could possibly intersect. And now I draw my line. It's solid because of the inequality, so it's going to be a solid line. Notice these don't intersect, but what I'm looking for is the intersection of the shaded region with inequalities. So I have to determine where to shade with the top inequality. And I want y values greater than that. So therefore, all y values greater than this blue line are going to be above the line. And I want to know where they intersect. And they're going to intersect above the blue line and in between the red line. So it's going to be in here. And also in between the values on the right of the absolute value. And the solid green area is where the shadings intersect, and that represents values that solve the system of inequalities. Let's take a look at another example. Again, I have an absolute value. I know that my general form is y equals the absolute value of mx plus b plus c. I know my ordered pair is going to be a negative b over m comma c. And when I substitute, I'm going to get a negative b. And here I'm going to have a positive 2, so it's going to be a negative 2 over m. And m is on the inside of the absolute value, which is a positive 1. And my c is going to be 5. So I can graph that ordered pair at a negative 2. Five. One, two, three, four, five. And if we pause, pause. And if we recall, that negative value is actually going to reflect my absolute value. In other words, my V shape is going to be pointing downward. But we can get that by generating our table. So here's my x, y. I want two values to the left of my negative 2 and two values to the right. So to the left, I'm going to go a negative 3 and a negative 4. And to the right, I'm going to go a negative 1 and 0. Substituting in, I get 
a negative 3. When I get in there, it's going to be a negative 3 plus 2, a negative 1. The absolute value is 1, but that makes it negative. I'm going to get 4. With a negative 4, I'm going to get a negative 2 plus 5, which is 3. With a negative 1, I'm going to get a negative 1 plus 5, which is 4. And with 0, I'm going to end up with a negative 2 plus 5, which is 3. Let's graph these ordered pairs, which is a negative 1, 2, 3, up 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 4, 3. And I'm going to have a negative 1, 4, and 0, 3. Now I check the inequality. It's just a greater than, so it's going to be a dashed line. Now I determine where to shade, and if I take a look at my inequality, I need all values of y greater than what I have here. So that's going to give me all values above the absolute value line. Now I want to graph the second line, which is y is greater than or equal to 3. So here I can just create a table, x, y, and I know my y values are 3. And I just create any x value, 0, 1, 2. So 0, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, 1, 3, and 2, 3. And this is a solid line because the inequality is a greater than or equal to. Then what I want to do is shade all values greater than 3. And when I do that, I'm going to get values above my horizontal line. But all I want is areas of where the intersection of both shaded areas. And that will be above the horizontal line and above the absolute value line in this general area. So this shading is going to represent all values that solve the system of inequalities.